We are going to attach our sign. It has a sawtooth hanger here. And then I need to punch. I am not a fan of the um, things that people glue to the back of wreath signs and everything. Everybody does everything different, but I am just, that is not for me. I want it permanent. And I know that's permanent, but I can't use, just to be clear, I can't use that E6000 or whatever it is in my shop. I can't take the fumes. So, that's why I do this. Just putting my Chanel, look at this. You guys, it's flip-flopping and lemons. I can't even deal. It's amazing. I put that, I didn't even intend to, but it ended up on one of the black stripes. Never gonna see it. You can see that, but you can't see it now. Never gonna see it. All right. After this, we get to make a fabulous bow. And we're gonna bring in some of the green since we have this green. Let me stand up. Sorry, guys. Hold tight. Don't get sick. I accidentally knocked my whole table. I still don't have... Um, this door has not been screwed down. This tabletop is a door and it hasn't been screwed down to my drawers. So every time I knock it, it goes for a ride. There's a long list of to-do things around this house and that's one of them. Okay. Now, you guys know, <sighs> this isn't my favorite part. I love it because of how cute it makes everything but trying to work my way down through here is not my fave. Okay, let me get this situated and I'll come back and You want it to be tight, so when you hang your wreath, you do not want this to slide. Now, I want them to kind of go cross like so, so I'm going to go down this way. And I'm just going to go under here and get this secured. Let me trim these pieces while I'm back here. Give it the good old test. All right, that's what I have. And now we're gonna make a bow. Let me get my chair flopped back out. going to give it a 12 inch tail. 
I want these lemons in the back. I don't like the way that's pulling that out. Six and a half inch in the back. Two loops. Let's see what we have. Let's go for three. Let's go for three. Nope. Well, maybe. Maybe. Yep, it'll be fine. Perfect. Three loops. Perfect. You get to buy three more rolls. Now, instead of going in with this, I'm going to introduce this Swiss dot. All right, if you get seasick, close your eyes, because I'm gonna bring you back just a little bit so you can watch this process. <laughs> Pushed you a little bit too far. All right. This one, three loops. I want a big, gorgeous bow. big bows and we cannot lie. I'm probably going to tie it off with this so I'm just going to leave it like so. And now, I'm going to bring in this green because we have a lot of green in our sign, in our ribbon, in our mesh. So, I'm bringing in the green. Behave. What are you doing, sister? You guys, there we go. Oh, that's pretty. That was a good choice. I'm gonna do two. And now, we have two options. Well, we could go in with this, but I don't want to, as much as I love Harlequin. We could go in with this yellow Swiss dot with the black lining, which would look amazing, right? Or we can go in with this black and white polka dot, which will also look amazing, and they will give it two totally different looks. You see how it would give it two totally different looks? And I think I'm going with this. You can't go wrong. There's no right or wrong answer here. They're both okay for this design. You just have to choose what you want. And this is what I want.
I'm gonna do one. It's so big at this point. Now, when you're taking a stack off of your easy row this big, the most important thing is to keep your stack intact. Keep it tight to keep it right. Okay? You don't wanna lose your whole bow. If you do, you're fine. You can start all over. You know what else I love about the easy bow? You don't like this and you're like, I wish I had chosen the black and white. Then you just pulled that part off. And you put that other on. That's one thing I really do love about it holding your entire project for you. At any point, you could go in and make a change. All right, ready? Here's a big mama jamma. All right, that is a big stack. That is a big stack. And then you wanna tie that off as tight as you can. And then you know that I like to cut another one and go ahead and extend it so it can get down into that wreath. Okay. And I'll tie it off with this guy. So what that means is I just fold this in half and I'm covering up my Chanel stem. situated in there so I'm just rearranging it now and so I like to fluff a little bit as you know before I end up on my wreath so I'm pulling apart the three lemons and I'm kind of fluffing them as I go they'll be fluffed more on the wreath I'm pulling apart those Swiss dots our green and then our black and yellow Swiss dot one side fluffed one side flat Repeat on the other side. Pull your lemons apart. Then I just run through these ribbons and kind of get them standing tall and proud. And she's gorgeous. She is gorgeous. And she matches perfectly. So let's get her on our wreath. to be like so on the door and I want her to come just under and kind of flow don't worry I will put her up on the stand so you can see her when we get done okay hold on we need to do surgery I didn't get this connected Her. 
her tied off. This is gorgeous. I wonder where she's going to go live. Where is she going to go live? Okay, now that I have it on my wreath, I start fluffing in place. And then any tails that got disturbed under, you just kind of give them a home. moved about. All right. See how pretty. See how pretty. All right. In our next video, we're going to add a little bit of florals, which is something I don't always do. So I'll be right back with the florals I'm going to add. See you in a few.